So, hey everybody, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy, where I'm just showing off some mirror jewel usage. Because, you know, for Rain's setup, I figure I'd give her the water mirror jewel. I also have Shell on her, just because, you know, it's going to be useful whenever I encounter some spell casting. But otherwise, I mean, that's what I got going on. There's not much to talk about Lon. I've been getting some stat increment mirror jewels like crit plus and other sort of things like that kind of nature just to make him a little more of a powerhouse because you know he's more of a physical attacker. But anyways, water's going to be useful. And if anyone's wondering, where do I get the mirror jewels? Well, you get them from the, the Mirage boards. And that's how it's done, you know. That's what you got going on. That's all you really need to know. It, mirages have them you just got to allocate the SP into the right slots and then you figure it out You got it going down and then it's done and now we can continue on Exploring the dragon scars because I got into a random battle with these blood eyes and spark dragons And they're just going about their business trying to ruin my day riding their clouds and flapping away I don't really know what else to say so I'm just going to continue on doing what I normally do. Getting the stats and getting some SP. And working on that Mirage board that I was talking about. Getting some more Mirror Jewels. Also, should mention, Dragon Skills, everybody. Dragon Skills. You might be wondering, what's so important about Dragon Skills? Uh, we got we got a little bit of a side quest that I believe we're going to need some in the near future. It's very handy to pick some up, so, you know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We got it. Don't have to focus too much about that. Don't really use them because, you know, their attack abilities. If I remember, they're like a medium-sized water begin. thing. So, you know, they would be extremely useful to use. But also, I have squiggles. Uh, squiggles could probably get something done, but I don't really want to ruin the cheapiness of my stacks, you know. I got things going down. Uh, you know what also would be good? Let's use Raphael. Let's just showcase Raphael. Let's just get some health back, you know. Because, I, I, like, our health is looking a little lackluster at the moment. Let's really showcase Raphael now. Are you two okay? I'm here to help. And it's so magical. Look at all the sparklies. Man, if I was a support thing or what have you in a battle with magic, I mean, I'd totally want my magic healing abilities to sparkle all over the place. It'd be magical. It'd be mystifying. It'd be amazing. But anyways, not the point. The point is... Now, Rafi is a great emergency thing to use whenever your things are looking bleak and you're in a situation where you don't know how you're going to win. The champion at hand will totally make it bearable and possible and you won't have to worry one bit and it's going to be amazing. Oh, Rafia, thank you. I, I had to get that off my chest because it's like the... I remember when I first showed her up, didn't really... It wasn't a really good usage of the whole champion ability because you know she heals you and i i think i was finding the undead princess and you know honestly couldn't really do anything oh secret areas thanks tutorial it's not like i've showed this off before i totally showed this off before you see we got chaz's black choco chick form you know and so it's it's pretty it's Here pretty useless yeah, to get that right now you know on the other hand we have Mer cerberus Cerberus is a Mega Mirage, also dictated. You can, uh, well, I guess I should probably cure Rain, but that's not the point. As dictated by Libra, you will see that the size is XL. It's an extra large. Also, you should note that the imprisoning, what have you, is a little bit more intense, a little bit more extreme. You gotta use three different elemental spells to capture it. I could totally do that, especially because the HP was a little intimidating, if you know what I mean, but other than that, uh, there's really not a whole lot to this fight. It's just going to mix things up. It's just going to constantly attack and then use some s elemental spells, abilities, what have you, you know, just kind of like throw out your game, like use Ice Storm, and it's going to hit everyone, and it's going to be annoying, but hey. 
I'm not really too worried because I'm overpowered, and if you're not as powered as I am, I mean, you still gotta do this. You might think, but kill them. It's a secret area. Well, the game fools you. You have to go this way. We had a gimme golem. Guess what? who's guarding the thing that the gimme golem wants? So really, under those, gu under those guidelines and under these terms, is this really a secret area? Because what I was... What I was informed, what I was told about secrets is that, you know, you don't, no one's really supposed to know about them. It's hidden. It's a well-hidden, not really supposed to know, out-of-the-way side area. It's not along the path of necessities to do what you need to do. Sephiroth is going to use Supernova because I'm upset about this whole entire situation. Fuck you, Cerberus. Now, you might be wondering, uh, Gildam, you brought up about Mega Mirage and the extra large size, you know, XL. Uh, what does that really entail? Well, fortunately, I don't have to really talk about it at the moment. I mean, sure, I'm battling it, but guess what? There's gonna be a tutorial explaining Mega Mirages and all that like and stuff and whatever. <laughs> it's not important, guys. Listen, I gotta lay the beat down. Sephiroth kind of felled me a little bit. See, it turns out, because Gildum's getting pretty buff, I mean, he already was to begin with, I just had to fill out his Mirage Fort, and because Future Ruler is already a beast, and everyone else at hand is already pretty buff and strong, and, you know, we're pretty good. No one can handle our chibi stack sizes. It turns out that the truth of the matter is... I don't really have to worry too much about anything. You know, and Sephiroth is becoming lackluster, you know, pretty much with Lon and Rain combined, like, you just utilize one of their attacks together. It's almost about the equal of Sephiroth as Supernova. Maybe not quite there yet, but it's getting up to that point. So, Sephiroth is starting to become obsolete. Anyways, Mega Mirages, I was just talking about this. Extra large size, too big to put in your stacks, but they work like the, they work like the Aeons from Final Fantasy X in the sense that you summon them and they fight for you and they have their own little stats and they're pretty dope, I must say. Uh, Cerberus there really reminds me of like the Final Fantasy VIII variant because you know that he was a he was a guardian force. He was a summon that you could get and use and it was awesome. And I think he would like throw triple and double on everybody. Uh, kind of useless now that I think about it, but I, I digress, you know, if you had a lot of spells that you're trying to cast, you know, that's what you could do, or attacks, I, I don't really remember, point is, not important. What we have going on is that Cerberus, if you want one, and you probably do, because, you know, Mega Mirages are actually pretty awesome, and this is our first real tis taste. An introduction to them. Uh, it's it's one of those things where I highly recommend you get one. Unfortunately, I don't have a knack, and if you want a Cerberus, you need a knack. Black or white, you can pretty much evolve one of those guys into a Cerberus, and they're they're badass. I'm not gonna lie. If you want a Cerberus, totally go for one. You know, you're gonna you won't be disappointed. And the summoning animation is badass. It's so amazing, and you know what? Good the job. future looks brighter than ever, because I guarantee you, we will get a Mega Mirage down the down the road. It's not going to happen right now, but it's going to happen in the future. So, you know, stay tuned, everybody. It might take me a while. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten more opportunities to have a Mega Mirage happen a lot sooner than later, but uh, it's, it's going to happen. Trust me on that, viewers. We will get the opportunity to actually have a Mega Mirage in our party. Also, because I totally have the thing. Oh, I got it. I got it. I had to defeat servers to get it in the secret area. Air quoting that word, secret area. Because that's what they claimed it was. Also, we got another little pachinko, pachinko uh, part right here. You know, we're playing like land pachinko, trying to get all the all the prizes. You know, because uh, that's what we got going on. Uh, Phoenix down, not too bad, not too bad. I think we missed a little bit of a thing to do. Also, to note, uh, the exit is right over there. That that's where the exit is. We have to go down that down that part in order to actually get out of this whole entire area but otherwise i mean we pretty much managed to do everything that we needed to we got practically all the prizes 
We may have missed one thing. So, uh, forgive me. And hey, another by Hydra. Uh, I still can't really scan it, because, you know, it's, it's in a stack. It's got a mini golem. That's unfortunate. I would love to tell you what you need to do to get a by Hydra, but unfortunately, I don't have time to try to knock down that stack and try to do everything. It would just slow down everything. I apologize. If I do it unintentionally, I totally right. will tell you everything you need to do in order to get it. But otherwise, I mean, I'm not going to bother. I might try to make things happen later on, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Also, I might try to make things happen later on, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. No one really wants, no one really wants, the, the, can't talk right now. No one really cares. Because we got things to do. I gotta play Pachinko. Land Pachinko. Because, you know, that's kind of what this is. You know, you go down a path, you see what happens, and right now I gotta exit to the to the end, man. We got a boss to fight. Everyone likes bosses. Other than that, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say other than Flutter Zone. More prizes, everybody. We got a... Got our little blood eye to help us with this. Man, I'm still gonna have to show that off. I haven't forgotten it, buddy. I know we, we missed some things and it's gonna it's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you just a high potion, but hey, I could use all the high potions I want. Also I should mention, there is a flutter zone really early on, back in the Nether Nebula, that you can actually get some pretty dope mirages that you weren't able to get otherwise. And I will be getting those, right, but it's gonna be, um, oh go! my god, it's a triple stack. You got, you got two dragons and a mini golem. That is, that is bizarre. I gotta take care of that right here, right now, because that's gonna be really, really annoying to fight. Also, you know, get the blood eye out of the way, because honestly, fighting that thing, fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the blood eye. I should probably mention, um, blood eyes, they, they inflict a lot of statuses. They're really annoying to fight. That's why you really don't want to let them linger in a battle longer than they have to. So getting that guy out of the way is probably the better solution to it. Uh, I don't know, I, I haven't really ran into a lot of situations, I mean, I've gotten Oblivion inflicted upon myself, which I guess I should explain. If you got a question mark just lingering overhead, uh, that's Oblivion, and what it does, or maybe it's Oblivious. Point is, it acts much like silence, it, it allows you not to, it, it basically prevents you from using all your skills and abilities, and it's, it's really annoying, all you can do is physically attack. Which, for me, isn't too bad. I mean, that's basically all I'm doing, so I guess it's not too haphazard. It's just annoying when you go into a boss battle and you can't use all the really sweet abilities that you want to use. So that's oblivious. Uh, a lot of the uh, Blood Eyes like to use that. They like to flick that. Oh man, we're already at the boss. Everyone ready for this? Everyone want to do it? I I'm just going for it. Screw it. It's on. Do you hear something? Uh. Oh, Who knew the winds of Babel could be so toasty? Lon! Shriek now! <laughs> Holy mom bombs! Get ready! <laughs> Please don't eat me! I taste awful! Yeah, we all taste bad, but especially Lon. He'll make you the one up bar! You don't have to be mean about it! Well, I think I'm gonna start off with the Libra ability, see what we got going on here with this Mega Red Dragon. You know, I'm prisonable. But, you know, that's what you typically expect with all these boss mirages. You know, they're pretty, they're pretty dope, pretty crazy. Uh, he's got one of those fields going on. So if I die, I kick the bucket and we're all dead, perma-dead. Uh, this isn't going to be good, but hey, I digress. Not an issue. This guy is just a, a beefier version of your typical red dragon. And I've been kicking their butts all over the place, so I don't really know. 
Also, Chaz has the raise ability. I don't know if I've really mentioned that, but he totally has the raise ability. So, if we if we KO, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Also, Gillum has a sling ability. Not too bad. <laughs> not too bad, if I do say so myself. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I got the cure going on. I got to keep everyone's health up. Um... I might as well talk about Mega Red Dragon here, because, you know, he's got some things going on. He he has a couple abilities. He's got Fyra. Not something I was quite expecting, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's not his only Fire ability. He has the Flare Star, except it's a lot more beefier and improved. Also, this is Tremor, everybody. <laughs> kind of lackluster. I think the real beauty of... Uh, Tremor is the fact that he has a high chance of toppling stacks, which really is a fantastical ability when you get down to it. Tentacle, on the other hand, lo and behold, oh, that is amazing. I think Mega Red Dragon here also has a bit higher defense, so, you know, he's gonna, it's gonna not take as much damage. Kind of draws out the whole entire battle just a bit, but at the same time, I got things to create survivability. I got Refia. If things are looking a little bleak, I ain't gonna worry too much. Uh, Flare Star Plus. It looks amazing, but it hurts so bad. <laughs> Maybe Piplup was a bad choice for this whole entire battle. Uh, Piplup has a pretty bad weakness to fire, I gotta be honest. Probably not the wisest Mirage to put in this whole entire thing, but Refia. Refia can save us. Alright. This is a good showcase of Refia. It's what we've had going on this whole entire part. She gets it done. She knows how to do the thing. She's a great choice for champion placement. I might I might hold on to Refia a little bit. At least until I get another healer on the party. Uh metal placement. You know, you know what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Point is, uh so yeah, you know, she has the thing, it got the sweet Final Fantasy 3 battle theme. I'm uh, just gonna keep on going on with fighting this guy. So now that you've pretty much seen everything that I can do... Oh no! Actually, we're fine. I, I healed up. We're all good. Oh, and he's he looks like he's getting pretty weak. He's slouching a little bit. He looks like he's struggling. Uh, we're just too strong, really. We got too much survivability. We're too OP. Just can't deal with it. Sure, I'm getting a little whooped, but at the same time, nothing too big for my whole entire party. Oh, man, I got a crit on him. Uh, sadly, I can't imprison him, so, you know, not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, also, I think if I could, he'd be like a, a extra large size, so I don't even know how that would work. Uh, if you have Cerberus, I mean, probably a good Mirage to bring out into this whole entire fight. Uh, Squiggles might have been a good choice for this, because Squiggles, as far as I know, is a water-themed Mirage. Huh? Uh, it's got the water things, and as we all know, water strong gets fire. Also, Tentacle. Tentacle gets shit done, man. I didn't realize it. Oh, he's using the Flare Star Plus. Flare Star Plus is a bad ability. Oh, man, I didn't think that I was going to have to deal with this shit today. But I guess it's all irrelevant because I win. I win, I win, I win. Uh, so with this victory, I think we're going to end the part. So next time, cutscene.